going. Yes, we are. To Vancouver Island. Yep. Daniel's not so excited about the drive. No, not at all. I've the bloody that? hell did I just run over? <laughs> so we're not going anywhere. I'll be back. I don't see any problems. <laughs> so yeah, we're driving from Prince George down to either Hope or Tawasin Walmart today. And then tomorrow we might be catching the ferry. Not sure if that's tomorrow or the next day. Depends on we don't we don't really have anything planned out. Just kind of go with the <laughs> flow. We also don't have a place to park down there until the first of November, and it is the nineteenth of October, so <laughs> we still have that to figure out as well. Yeah, this is really winging it. It wasn't That's a how big we deal life, with, the know, we with the truck. With yeah, the, trailer, the nice the thing about the is. truck is that we could kind of just go and do whatever we pleased, but with the trailer. We should be thinking it out a little more than we are. Yeah. But what we do know is that there is about four days of fairly heavy snowfall in the forecast. That's why I left. So we need to leave now. We were originally planning on leaving in a week or two, but it's been moved up, so. It's supposed to snow this Saturday, and then it's supposed to keep snowing, and I need to get out of here <laughs> before that happens. Yep. So, here we go. tacos I mean seasoned beans with salsa on a tortilla <laughs> <laughs> so we're not exactly doing any gourmet cooking today but this is what we have stinks stinks like what let's not talk about it no I don't want to even see you you want to go outside no god no no, you've been very bad. Maple peed on the bed. You're a very bad dog. You sleepy. Well, welcome back to the road. I'm your host. <laughs> It's so smoky, it's too bad, because Hope is pretty. I can't tell today. We stayed at the ASO all day long so we could not drive in too crazy of traffic. It's 6 o'clock at night already. It looks a lot later though, because it's, oh, it's so, so smoky. It's so dark because of the smoke. Well, the plan is to go to Tawas and Walmart, stay a night, and then at 9, no, no, 10. 15, we have a ferry, and they're very specific about when to show up. They said 60 minutes before and no later than 30 minutes before. So you have a 30 minute window to get on that ferry. Really annoying, but she hasn't peed yet. And 
so we go on the ferry soon. <laughs> We're hoping that she pees outside before the ferry. Because the ferry, how long is the ferry ride? Two hours. Yeah, she's not gonna hold it that long. And we can't keep her from getting off the bed. So. Yeah, because we're not allowed to be in the bottom of the ferry. Yeah, where all the like over height, over length vehicles go, people are not allowed to be when the ferry is running. So, I mean, they're pretty much in there to just, you know, she's gonna end up, she, she always jumps up on the bed and pees. So if she doesn't pee before we leave, it's pretty much guaranteed to pee on her bed. Girls be good in here, okay? Oh, Maple didn't pee out there. We were lucky enough to get a spot for the winter right next to the ocean. We woke up this morning to quite a bit of snow actually, but of course it's very slushy, very wet snow. So we decided to come out here for a little walk in the forest <laughs> and it's all melting off the trees because it's about one degree right now and it's kind of like a little bomb field actually. Oh god. <laughs> Quickly. Well, there is no shelter. There isn't really shelter. There's also quite a few down trees. It was pretty windy last night. Come here. Let's go. This is Maple's first ever snowfall, and she is having so much fun. Who's had to see? That was so cool. <laughs> We all woke up very excited today to see the snow, including the dogs, which kind of makes me rethink our idea of coming to the one place in Canada that almost never gets snow. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it is an experience, and it's kind of cool to live near the ocean. Yeah, this snow is not nice snow, though. Yeah, it's pretty slushy and gross. It's like cement. It's <laughs> gross. It's not fluffy and it's not powder. <laughs> this is some um, 
quite possibly the worst snow ever. Yeah, the worst kind of snow. The worst to drive in. Yeah, the worst to kind of do anything in. It is pretty though. We decided to take the dogs to the dog park because it's Christmas and there's not much else to do. And it does not feel at all like Christmas. No, oh, this is awful. <laughs> it's raining so hard. And there's like not that much snow. There's more here than there is where we live. Just because this is a little bit higher up. But this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> this is not winter. Should we get you your life jacket? <laughs> yeah. at least I know at least there's no end in the forecast it's just <laughs> this gross. so today we are going on a little adventure yes we're on well I was gonna say the far side of the island but it really isn't <laughs> <laughs> so we are staying in Campbell River and we decided today we'd go out and explore Gold River which is technically right now we're on like an inlet yeah. from the other side of the island, but we're not really on the other side of the island. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> While we were driving here, we were going through Strathcona, and it's very nice, but we were a little bit higher up, so things were a little more frozen, and it reminded us a lot more of the north. Yeah. We're kind of missing it a little bit. We're trying to explore some of the island around us we haven't seen before, like Gold River. It's actually really nice here. I told somebody I worked with that I was planning on coming here and they were like, why? What's over there? And I was like, just somewhere I haven't seen before. And I'm glad we came. I'll show you, we just took some videos of this little like inlet area here. There's a sawmill right next to us, but <laughs> it kind of ruins, ruins it a little bit. But <laughs> it is probably one of the nicest spots for a sawmill, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, it's gorgeous here. We just took a little video of the inlet. I know you're a whiner. here so we're gonna go check it out and see whether we can get to them I don't know how good the road conditions are with the snow We came to the insect cave. Apparently there's cave crickets. It's very interesting. Hi. <laughs> what? I'm gonna check out the cave. Hi, Aspen. It's not a super big cave, <laughs> but it's cool. We're at the main cave now. Main cave. This one looks pretty interesting. I don't know what to make. You are that here map. is the like red star <laughs> thing. It's pretty deep, actually. Is it? Well, pretty big. Oh, big. Yeah. yeah. There's like a. Ooh, this should be interesting. Come on, me. She's scared. <laughs> She doesn't want to go in the cave. <laughs> you can do it. It's okay. Ooh. 
Hi, Aspen. Now we're at the Resurgence Cave. This one looks pretty interesting. There's yeah. stairs to go down to it. Yeah. We're not going very far into these caves because we don't have a headlamp. So if you're wondering, like, where's the rest of them? This is pretty interesting. <laughs> Because you can't like could bring your dog, but <laughs> it's just a lot easier without the dogs. Yeah, start crawling around with the dogs. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Look at the ground. Oh, oh man! <laughs> I left the vent over top of the bed open in the RV. <laughs> I don't think that's as good. on the ground. Look at how it is on maple. Oh, maple. <laughs> look at this. Look at the hail on her. <laughs> pretty big. Oh, poor Aspen. Aspen. <laughs> oh, no. They're going to get so <laughs> If you're wondering what winter is like in one of the only places in Canada where it doesn't snow, instead it rains a lot, <laughs> so it's raining outside, and little Miss Maple was sticking her nose out the window. <laughs> Did you get some water on there? Oh, you're so cute. It is raining so hard. Oh my god. Let's take a look. Oh. Hey, wait, we gotta oh show you. It's raining so hard. <laughs> it's amazing this place doesn't flood, actually. So today, we had planned and scheduled a tour to go ocean kayaking, but... There's strong wind. <laughs> well, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Not right now, but there's a strong wind warning, so it got cancelled. So we just decided to bring the dogs over to Quadra Island anyway, and... Yeah, you weren't gonna come. Yeah, we weren't bringing you. <laughs> and now look, you're here. You made yeah. it. You, you got our kayaking tour canceled because, well, they were like, I ain't staying home. Yeah, you stayed. That was so rude. 
So Quadra Island is an island off of the coast of Vancouver Island. It's between like Vancouver Island and the main land of Canada. So it's it's a there's a bunch of tiny little islands littered throughout that area, and Quadra Island is one of them. But it's right off of the coast of Campbell River where we've been staying, so we wanted to check it out. There's some cool hikes on it. Oh well, not really hikes, more like walks. There's a few but... <laughs> like hikes, but yeah, there's some cool little adventures we could do. Yeah. There's a lighthouse that we keep seeing that we've wanted to get yeah. to, <laughs> so we finally get to it. Yeah. But it's a gorgeous day. It's sunny, it's supposed to be warm, but windy. view from here. You can't really see this from Campbell River because this island is blocking the view. Much nicer here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got a green view. Yeah. yeah, we're on a little four kilometer walk hike by the ocean. Yeah, yeah it's pretty nice. to this little lighthouse that we kept seeing from Campbell River. We're not going to spend very long here though. We're pretty much just going to take a look at that and uh, the Campbell River skyline and then we're going to head up to the north side of the island. Why is it called Spit? I'm not sure. I don't really like that name. It is so warm today. It's also really, really bright. I don't know what it is right now. Like, at least 15, maybe 20 degrees. Hi! You're a little stinker. It's so warm. There's a sailboat parked in front of us, and I've been trying to convince Daniel that we need to get a sailboat. He's not 100% convinced yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be awesome. but we're cursed so and the truck died the battery we asked four different people in the parking lot but nobody had any jumper cables i just i usually always have jumper cables in the truck and for some dumb reason i put them in the trailer why did i put them in the trailer what am i gonna boost the trailer <laughs> So we called so many different tow truck companies and they all were closed or didn't have any any vehicles in town and then finally um, we left a message with one of them that didn't answer and they called us back and said to try a different tow truck company which says it's closed so we just tried calling it anyway and thankfully someone is coming out. <laughs> And it's after hours too, so hopefully that doesn't cost a bunch of money. Yeah. It's like eight o'clock. That's a big fire those people are having on the beach. Oh <laughs> yeah, it is. So this is the current state of the truck. It's a disaster. 
And so we've decided that we are going to rip out everything in the back. We are done with it. Um, main reason is because mostly everything has broken. <laughs> and also, we have slight issues with power because well, the payload of our truck isn't great. We, we need to make the payload of the truck a little bit better for the trailer whenever we hook up the... Uh, trailer to the truck there's just so much weight in the back it's gutless basically we have two dogs and we're just we're not going to be moving back into the truck we're not going to be doing the things that we did previously living in the truck and I mean honestly we thought we were gonna keep it to just do like little adventures but we're probably just gonna end up <laughs> yeah using a tent or throwing a mattress into the back of it it doesn't need to be built out to do that so it's not really being used over the last summer and winter. It's been really beat up from back roads. I can't open or close a lot of these. A lot of work to undo everything in here. Mainly just the wiring, because we're going to keep the wiring and we're going to keep the battery. If we wanted to continue using this as like an adventure rig, we'd have to put a lot of money and effort and time into fixing up the things that are broken inside of here and it's just not worth it to us for the li very limited amount of time that we would use it and with the both of us and two dogs even with just aspen it was cramped in there and there's no toilet there's no sink there's no anything that we would like to have it was a fun adventure but it was i'm really sad i mean i'm not going to really use it again i am i am really sad to get rid of it honestly we had some really really good times in here memories that'll last a lifetime but it just doesn't work for us anymore. <laughs> Maple's really fast. Are you sad? <laughs> Maple gets, or I mean, Aspen gets stressed out when she runs away. Or she's way too fast for her. Like she can't keep up at all. You want to say goodbye to the truck camper? No. Yeah, Daniel, lift her up. She wants to say goodbye. Look. Yeah, it's all gone. Yeah. He's gonna say goodbye. Wait. Look at that. <laughs> no. I'm gonna miss it too, but we have more adventures coming. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> You're covered in dirt. No, she's trying to go in there. We no, don't live there anymore. Me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't live there anymore. No, I know that. No. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, go play. Come on. Come on. Wanna stay? Wanna stay? Get this thing. Today we're going to the dump to get rid of what's left of our camper. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much like gas mileage we'll get after this too. So, our weight before getting rid of the wood yeah. was 2,960 kilograms. Yeah. Our weight after getting rid of the wood was 2,800 kilograms. So we got rid of 160 kilograms of weight.
it's like 6 a.m. I don't know if you can hear that outside, but like this is just what it does all winter long on Vancouver Island. And I don't know, like I would so much prefer snow. I've got to go outside and show you people. This is awful. We haven't been able to sleep all night long. We're both exhausted. And we're both worried that the trailer is going to tip over. I don't know how much wind force it takes for a trailer to tip over, but it sounds like it's going to tip over the entire night. And we're worried the slide is going to get pushed in. And the poor dogs, <laughs> what are you laying like that for? The dogs are laying on the floor, so they keep jumping off the bed, and I keep calling them back on the bed, so that if the slide does get pushed in, they're not in the way of it. And it just hasn't been a fun night. I'm tired. <laughs> calmed down quite a lot since last night, but it's still pretty windy out there. And I'll show you how choppy the sea is right now. We're off to the ferry terminal. We're just sitting in a rest area. Oh man, that little road is loud. We're just sitting in a rest area waiting until it's time to start driving to the ferry terminal. Uh, hopefully we make it on time. What time is it? <laughs> We're so early. <laughs> yeah. We're leaving the island. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> We're ready. Um, let's just say it wasn't our favorite winter ever. Um, so yeah, we're definitely ready to go. <laughs> that was so much rain. <laughs> There's a lot of rain and wind and great weather, but that's all right. It's like seven months <laughs> Terrible. I mean, we weren't expecting it, but it was, it was, more than it was worse than we expected. <laughs> You have to stop at them, I should mention. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that until I <laughs> you had to stop. No, maybe you can- do you think you can pick up more than one? <laughs> Getting some air. <laughs> the wheel's very responsive. <laughs>
Yeah, so Maple just had diarrhea in the back, and, like, there's nowhere to stop. We're, like, on in Vancouver. Oh, my God, it's the stinkiest stink. Oh. <laughs> it smells so bad. It's so gross. Oh, my God. And there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, man, I'm gonna puke. It's a pretty busy truck stop. <laughs> One of the best nights sleep I've ever had. <laughs> I'm not joking either. <laughs> but yeah, we were both actually really surprised um, after the dogs had pooped in the truck and then Aspen pooped in the trailer. I don't know what's going on with them, whether the ferry was super stressful and that's why they're pooping, but yeah, they both had issues. And so we were like, uh oh, we're gonna have like a terrible night's sleep. <laughs> But we actually ended up having a pretty good night's sleep. Yeah, it was great. I, yeah, I don't know why, but we're pretty well rested. So now we're going to drive to Merritt. We spent the night in Merritt before heading to the Rocky Mountains, which is where we'll be spending the summer. Thanks everyone for watching. Vancouver Island was a beautiful place to spend the winter. We had a lot of really fun adventures here, but we're definitely glad to be in a drier, less windy climate again. <laughs>